All right, this is the uh, Algebra 1 practice test 2 in the course, of course. Um, question number 38. What are the coordinates of the midpoint of a line segment whose endpoints are 10, negative 5, and negative 6, negative 3? Now, the reality is the question asks you about the midpoint, and they give you some coordinates. Midpoint has a formula, so we're actually just going to look at the formula and then write it down. Uh, I swear to you, in my career, I can't get people to write things down anymore in terms of using or, and use the formulas page. They give it to you. I mean, you look at the formulas page, it's like entire cultures represent one line like maybe an entire culture created the slope formula that's all they did hundreds of years of people being alive they came up with the slope formula and we have a billion of those and we treat them like it's just nothing it's just refuse so use the formulas page people so here's my midpoint formula it says x of 1 plus x of 2 over 2 and then y1 plus y2 over 2. What they're essentially asking you to do is take the distance between the x values and average them and then average the values uh, on the y's. It's not really that big of a deal, but this was one of those questions that people just tend to miss for some odd reason. I'm going to try to guess what the number is to get back to that question. I was pretty close. I was one off. Now, I have my formula, so now I'm going to mark up my data points, or my coordinates, I should say. My x comes first, and if you don't know that x comes before y, uh, good luck in high school. So I've got x and then y, and in my second group, x and y again. Now, this is the second time I wrote x and y, and this is the first time. That's all the little 1s and 2s on the x's and y's in this formula mean. They're not squared. And it's easy to think that. But if you can see that um, this is called subscript because it's under the number. If you have the little number here, it's subscript. The only reason that we use this in math generally is for labeling. So it doesn't actually have any mathematical value. If it was superscript or up here, better than the average script, then it would be x squared. But in our case, it's just a label. It's kind of like how they uh, will use gold as little labels when they look at blood and other such things. I didn't know, you may not know that. Anyway, let's do the average of my x's. So my x's would be uh, 10 plus negative 6. And I'm going to put that over 2 because there's two of them. So 10 plus negative 6 is, of course, 4. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. And you should be able to type the whole thing in, get the answer that you're kind of looking for. On the other side of my y's, I'm going to do negative 5 minus 3 over 2. Well, negative 5, or plus negative 3, I should say. That way it matches exactly. Usually I'm not a huge fan of plus minus, uh, but it's okay in this case, especially since most of you are going to type it into the box anyway, whatever. So negative 5, and I add negative 3 to it, so I'm going even more negative than ever before. I get negative 8 over 2. Negative 8 divided by 2 is, of course, negative 4. So my answer for my midpoint is 2 and negative 4. And it makes a lot of sense. If I'm going from uh, all the way from 10 to negative 6, and I did it on a number line, the point in the middle would be at around 2. So it's got to be greater than 0 because 10 is much bigger than negative 6. Uh, negative 5 and negative 3, they're right next to each other. The only thing between them is negative 4. So it does make a lot of sense for number 38 to do it, and uh, there it is. So good luck.